So, uh, if I wanted to, I actually could leave this game, but I know this goes up to Ascension 20. So, let's try again with the defect, and see if we can finally get the beta art unlocked. Or one of these. Fine, fine gentlemen. I don't even need to l uh, there's an early shop. I was like, I don't even need to look at the others. There's almost no reason to take anything else, but that early shop kind of sways me. Because early shops usually contain some of the best stuff. So let's just go for it. Let's just go whole hog and see what we can find. Oh, we actually killed one instantly. I'm impressed. Louse, its feelers growing from its eyes. The abject fear and terror that a machine comes over that a machine is overcome by upon seeing such an organic menace such as that. None of the stuff really does it for me. The vulnerability doesn't matter unless I'm actually hitting it with something that actually is worth it. I can't break it. Ugh. Fine, I'll move a card from my deck. As it currently stands, strikes are the objectively worst thing to have in the defects deck. They do the least for it, so we'll just delete it. Oh. A Sling of Courage. FTL Sling of Courage, hello world. Nothing else here really speaks to me, so we're just going to take the Sling of Courage here. <laughs> But we're not going to be courageous in taking on this elite. No, 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 no. Uh, we might take on this one. But I want to go through all the question marks as opposed to all the fights. I don't trust Cleric. I'm sorry, Cleric. Wow. Come back to taunt me. This run does not seem like it is uh, destined for any form of greatness whatsoever. Like zap a zero cost, so we can always play it. And now a fight. Seven damage. Seven damage is all I really want to take. I could have killed it if I didn't defend. I actually paid attention to what was going on, but you know what? Hey. We'd probably still be able to kill it one way or the other. See? Still worked. Loop is okay because we're guaranteed to have at least one electric orb up at all times. I might take Cold Snap. Because we don't have any survivability, really. Like, our survivability are defense. So Cold Snap might be the only way we can actually continue to progress. No, I need something to start building a deck around. Greetings, Autopic. Topic. Yes, it has been a while since I've seen you've seen Slay the Spire. But here we are, suffering, as we're wont to do. And take the rightmost path. I have no attack cards that I'm actually attached to whatsoever. Give me the sapphire key. Move over here and maybe you can give me some money. Give me the banana. Yeah, actually, no, the banana is actually the proper choice here. Alright. Fight elite, question mark, fight, and healing ourselves. Let's see what goes on. Yes, I wasn't really playing much of anything because it was finals for the past three weeks or so. And I was trying to force myself to actually work on stuff, even though I was dramatically not interested in any of it. Um, sure. Zap, loop, defend, dual cast. By far the most amount of damage we're possibly going to get.
And right after this, I need to go back to continue doing the... Actually... Yeah, I, I, I've done enough stuff where it's like... I didn't do like three or four things on stream. I'm gonna start playing Fate Grand or FGO while I'm doing this. The Rashomon event is live, and I don't want to miss out. Because I love destroying this. I love destroying this game repeatedly. Modded Evil Genius is whenever I get the mod done. Right now I'm fixing my sleep schedule, which hopefully will be fixed by tomorrow. And also doing the... Also working on the primer. I just need the map so I can actually tell you guys where everything is. Because I realize that whenever I'm trying to write this... Whenever I'm trying to write the primer for the setting, I keep trying to describe everything in relation to something else. And the biggest problem with that is even I would get confused if I was trying to explain, okay, here's the central city. Hi, Pat. And the central city of most of the setting has this north, this west, this east, this south. But then from there, there's also more stuff east of that east, southeast, and yada yada yada. And I don't want to try to describe everything like that in relation, because that's just really stupid and the fact that I know a map exists for the setting I'm trying to pull up. Or pull off for the D&D thing. So, I'm currently waiting till tonight when he, the person who has the map should send a copy of it to me so I can put it into the primer and make things for reference. And that's what I'm working on right now. Modded Evil Genius, I need to figure out how to get my mod to work properly. Because we are playing with the unofficial patch for it. I actually should continue, hang on. Um, Glacier, we can defend ourselves for a time being. Blah. So, oh baby, loop and zap. I don't feel any reason to do anything else as of right now though, while we're just in the process of setting stuff up. And we are playing the defect character. So I just need to actually get my stuff going first. on my end for the primer and for my mod which is just renaming stuff right now to work properly without breaking everything else as for the unofficial patch we'll be playing what will end up happening is we'll be playing that game of evil genius with a much higher minion cap alongside a bunch of other benefits Oh yes, everyone's fully gotten ready for the event. It is time. Time to do what must be done. And we're actually doing a fair amount of damage to the Log Villain. He's about half health. About all I can really expect. Uh, I probably could have dual casted there. Ah, uh, no, I actually want to dual cast off of this. Oh, that's right, I have the Sling of Courage. I completely forgot. It's like, why am I doing so much damage? Right, Sling of Courage. How I felt for just a couple of minutes. Toss up another Glacier, because I want to pop this. That'll put me up to, what, 17? Sure, I can choose to take nothing. We'll keep bursting through... We'll keep burning through his health while he's not really able to make any headway on ours. Not really, because I'm not doing enough damage with anything else. Like, the strikes are how I occasionally deal some damage. Alright, I guess we're going with Frost. I was thinking electricity was going to be the order of the day, but I think we're just dealing with frost as of right now. Um, I can lose six max health. Again, the like six max health rarely matters. Well, ain't you, fat slugma? I don't want to fight you because you're gonna do a lot more harm 
that I can really deal with. And and I'm against the guy who I kind of beat because I don't attack anyway. So you know what? Goodbye. I don't want to fight this guy. Okay, now the good question. I want to power myself up. How am I going to do that? I don't need to rest. Sure, we can upgrade loop. It's funny, because loop I normally consider terrible, but I don't exactly have anything else to work with, so I might as well just make loop better. Uh, dual cast is fine. Zap, cold snap, and strike. Bring him down to four, so we should be able to burn him out later. Then we can pull out a loop. I don't think we can loop, because if I Glacier, I'll need to strike to take no damage. So I think I'm going to have to hold off on looping for now, and simply toss him in his defended state. I know, he's just, I need to get out of here, don't mind me walking away from that smoke bomb. Why'd you have to crit? Oh, well. Um, I guess Glacier Cold Snap combo. It'll deal damage. I, no, because I, I take nothing from this. But I'd still ultimately end up taking nothing, because this is still going to power myself up enough to survive this. Okay. So, we zap to pop this, loop, dual cast, and defend to take no damage from this again. Strikes? Yeah, I'm gonna pop the strength potion here because I need to deal more damage to the guardian. And additional glacier, the additional glacier really doesn't help. Zap, cold snap, strike, strike, but that doesn't take you to your next phase, does it? Because that'll be 14, yeah, that'll be 14 total, which is not enough. So toss of our defenses take a little bit less. I really just care about what happens after this. Because the buff he gets is insane. Alright. Uh, toss up another zap. Well, actually. No, we're good. Toss up another zap that pops this. Uh, we can strike, strike, defend ourselves, and we're good. Dual cast, hold snap, and defend. Zap will pop this over so I can dual cast to actually deal some proper harm. And we can Glacier, because that will pop this other one to also prevent harm and bring him down to 36, but he's going to hit me again for a large chunk of damage. And in spite of this being triggered twice... Well, actually, Cold Snap, Strike, and Strike, which will force him to his secondary phase again, and we should be able to kill him before he gets another chance to hit us for 40.
Don't need a dual cast. Pop this. Strike. Strike. Actually, I do need a dual cast. How foolish of me. What a fool I was. Glacier. Strike. And then he goes to his next phase. He'll take six in the start of his turn. And if we have at least two strikes or a zap, we should be okay. Our dual cast. There we go, he's dead. Seek is good, but I'm not looking for any particular card. I don't have enough zero drops for all for one to work, and electrodynamics is too good to pass up on most occasions. The power of fire and lightning. The Philosopher's Stone, if I take it, all but guarantees that I will die if I go end up facing against the heart. But you know what? I'm going to take the Philosopher's Stone because it's still such a good relic. For its cost. Enemies have one additional strength, there's only one enemy that that sucks against, and that's on this level. And the heart. Never forget that it sucks against the heart, but everything sucks against the heart. Anything with any remote downside sucks against the heart, so eh. Ah, uh, see here. Alright. We'll take a left to mid to left path. Loopity loop loop. Loopity loop. Well, if I do this... Oh, the dual cast still deals more damage than the upgraded loop, so I might as well. Zap, strike, strike, defend. Electrodynamics doesn't actually do much, so I might as well keep attacking, even though it doesn't count as an attack. Dual cast, strike, strike, strike should actually kill you. Dual cast plus three strikes should definitely kill this guy. Dual cast plus two strikes would have still got him, so... Philosopher's Stone, as always, is A-OK -okay by me. Sunder is interesting, but it usually just takes up a card slot and doesn't help. Equilibrium... Yes, you can right-click on a card and just view the upgraded form. Oh, how they upgrade it? Um, you know, it really doesn't say. It just says you kind of get better. I'm just assuming the defect just unlocks a protocol somewhere that it never knew it had. What are emotions, master? So on and so forth. Yeah, no. Uh, ball lightning would be okay. All oh, lightning's okay. I, I need to upgrade eventually. I can't just sit, not, sit there not taking cards. I will take the special relic because the defect is unique in that he can usually get a bunch of artifact stuff to get rid of it. Give me another relic and no downsides. You just get the question card, which is honestly pretty garbage amongst relics. I was hoping for something better. Something to save me someday. Ah, you both suck to fight against. I guess hit the looter in the in the rear. No, hit them in the front first. Uh, 
Percy. Now there's some electrodynamics, which electrodynamics plus dual cast will guarantee that this looter dies. Actually, here's a very simple one. Electrodynamics, ball lightning, hits them both, dual cast, here, kills the one in the front, and then all attacks go out in the second. We take another 12, yes, but we would have taken an additional 12 anyway, so we might as well just kill one. There's the blizzard. We were waiting for it. I'm sure we've dipped into lightning a little bit in the meantime, but hey, lightning's not bad. I was kind of hoping for not another fight, but I guess here we are. Hmm. Ibaraki seems to have killed all my entire party, except, uh... Except the back row is now coming in. All hail the back row. Yeah, sure, ball lightning, zap, cold snap, strike, defend. Hi, hey, Georgios, why have you done this? It's taken up everything in my inventory. Oh well. Oh, they're just defending, so let's just prove to them that their insolence will go punished. How much damage does this deal? All enemies deal six. Wow, I channeled so little? That just seems wrong. Oh well. I guess if I channeled so little according to the game, I channeled little. I can willingly choose to avoid to take taking more damage. I guess. Why would you strengthen yourself? You hurt me. Eternally and internally. If only I could kill you. If only I could just get rid of the Centurion. Alright, uh, ball lightning again, zap again, punch, defend, defend. It's, we're slowly whittling them down, it's just not happening fast enough for my liking. Cleric, quit healing them, please, Jesus. Cold snap, dual cast to finally end you. Now we can focus on the mystic. Well, we channeled a lot more with Blizzard, so we might as well zap because it's free. You are a pirate, and then toss up Blizzard again. Compile? It's one mana, deal ten, draw two. Maybe, but at the same time I make use of the frost as like static defenses. I'm really thinking I'm pile drivers here. Deal one, or deal ten, draw two on average. Search for blizzard, keep spamming blizzard. Try it. I don't think this is gonna go over well. 
Ah, let's keep going. I have winged boots, so if I really wanted to, I could play life dangerously. But at the same time, playing life dangerously gets you killed. Playing life smartly means I can continue on with my miserable existence. We are not going to go after you. We're going to go after this little fool and see how we do after we do this question mark. It's a shop. I'm... Do I want a meal ticket? I want echo form guaranteed. And then I also want to get rid of strike. And now let's try to take you on. Take you on. Take you on. I'll be gone in a day or two. I wish we could guaranteed kill the fat gremlin in the front. Wish we could. We can't. It's a one in three chance thereabouts. Sweet, we got him. Uh, we have Ascender's Bane, we have Loop, we have Echo Form, which... I can't really defend... Well, I can. Yeah, no, I don't know why I'm saying that. I can easily defend myself. Electro... And we can possibly get double loop. Oh, we almost died. Okay, I gotta be careful. Because if I play the wrong thing, Echo Form will mess me up. Roll more cards. I could Blizzard, but it's gonna do six damage, maybe. So I'm just going to Glacier it up again. And we'll just slowly make Blizzard better. Now oh, there we go. I'm not missing it on today's event. Uh, I want to do double loop, guaranteed. No, I got a double dual cast, because if I don't, I'm dead, because he decided to attack again, which is just weird of why he keeps breaking from his own established rules. It's really annoying. Am I dead? No, I'm not. I'm like at three. I'm a little bit higher than three. I'm four. How's that for out of context? I'm not three, I'm four! Get out of here. Okay, that didn't work, but uh, one could hope. Charging up! We are not done yet. Okay, are you gonna hit me? No, you're actually playing properly. Why did you suddenly have a change of heart? I'm trying to figure that out. Game? Game? Windows, you better not be updating in the middle of this again, because Jesus Christ, I keep turning you off, but it seems like you explicitly do it whenever I'm streaming. And it makes no sense. I've turned it off repeatedly. Ugh, no, because I know it turns itself back on automatically. Um, let us actually just ball lightning twice. And compile, finish you off. I don't know why that even took so much brain power. Well, no, I know why it took so much brain power. It's because I'm dividing my attention between two different things. We don't need anything else. We don't need compile. We don't need stack. We don't really need much of anything. Let's just keep going. Treasure chest. Tiny chest. Sweet.
I'm gonna go to the campfire and uh, just move up from there because I kind of really need to rest to not die horrifically. Like, please save my soul because I would rather not go and do exactly... I'd rather not just go jump blindly into another fight. In order to have some preparation, let's try that again. Electrodynamics is good. I think the electrodynamics is always a mistake in this, like, whenever I'm trying to do this. I actually need to... I should reconsider, because I think the electrodynamics will always end up being an error. Because he's going to make me vulnerable, and if he makes me vulnerable, I'm dead no matter what I do. Alright, dual cast, cold snap, and zap, and defend. Okay, so I take two from this. Oh, no, I officially die. But if he was still alive, he'd be attacking me while strengthening himself. So, I... Oh, wait, no, I'm not dead yet. So, I can defend twice. That brings me up to 12, which allows me to survive. Compile drivers. And toss up another defend to prevent me from dropping dead just yet. Okay, we live, barely. All lightning. Zap to pop this. Cold snap because it's kind of necessary. Defend and strike. And we live with one health. No, we die, ex no, we live with one health. Okay, I thought I was gonna die exactly. Maybe this build just is awful. Alright, we no longer have our negative. So, something might be able to come out of this, but I'm not sure what. Um, ball lightning. To pop the first defense. There we go, we're good for now. can easily compile to start with, which will break down his entire armor. Cold snap, which hits him a little bit harder. Strike and zap. So this kills him. And loop, just to say we play loop. Well, that's painful. Um, core surge? I mean, it's not like the core surge is going to do anything. Gives me artifact and deals damage, but it doesn't save me. I think I should take a charge battery. Hope. Oh, baby, a smiling mask. I will definitely take a treasure. Um, let's just go and rest and relax. Nighty night. Sorry, doing my turn on terrible mobile phone game. Sit in the altar of a forgotten god. Top the altar sits an ornate female statue. Her arms outstretched. She calls out to you, demanding sacrifice. Give me the blood idol. Guess we'll rest again so we don't die. Ah, collector, collector. 
I mean... Electrodynamics doesn't suck here. As long as I don't draw Echo Form, I'm fine. Okay, drawing a Sender's Bane is best case scenario. Sweet. Deal six to everything, but not much else. One of you is going to steal Echo Form from me, but not if I play it first. Okay. No, di no dice. That doesn't look good. What do they steal? Echo form and loop plus. That makes sense. Well, let's see if we can steal echo form back from them. Charge battery works. Um, okay, so I don't. I want to hit you once, not multiple times. No, because a cold snap is going to put you on the death's door state, basically, anyway. What should I do this? Hopefully, that doesn't, like, kill Echo Form instantly. Oh, it did. Well, that's unfortunate. Yeah, yeah, it would really suck to be in the, this situation. How is Blizzard handling? Blizzard is not doing well. Some might say Blizzard's doing terribly. Only 10 damage to report? Jesus. Can I survive? Not under current conditions. Loop Plus doesn't help, really. Yeah, no, I would officially die. The Echo Form really wouldn't change much, in all honesty, so I guess this run is just aborted from the start. Hyper Beam! We didn't really get a humongous amount of luck on this run.